Is it me or is these high schoolers very mature for their age? It had me reflecting on my life while watching this movie. One is Sharana from Pay or Wait, and today I'm going to be reviewing Chemical Hearts, which hits the fine Prime Video streaming platform this Friday. This film is written and directed by Richard Tanney, who you may know for also writing and directing Southside with you. And this film is based on the 2016 novel of the same title, Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. So this film stars Lily Reinhardt and also two Austin Abrams. As this movie focuses on Henry Page, who's played by Austin Abrams, who is a 17 year old um, young man who is starting his senior year. He is looking for that, that once in a lifetime type of love. And he feels as though, you know, he's just missing out on it. He needs something to happen before he graduates from high school. And so this opportunity comes when we meet Grace, who is played by Lily Reinhart, um, who is chosen to co-edit the school newspaper with him. And as he learns about her heartbreaking past, he also finds himself falling in love with the girl that he thinks she is. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, hello, so glad you came, I hope you stay. I tell you what I enjoyed about the film, what I didn't like about the film, is it worth your time or not streaming this weekend? Um, so going into what I enjoyed about Chemical Hearts, you guys, this is a different type of like this is a different type of high school romance film. Um, one of the things that really pulled me into Chemical Hearts um, is really that it doesn't try to be your typical like, oh, I meet this person, I fall in love. Let's talk about this. I thought about the teenage love affair. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I had to do it. Um, but one of the things that I will say is that it's a lot darker and more serious um, in tone. Um, and I found myself, you know, really reflecting back on my life, on relationships, on love, on loss. And I think that is one of those films that will really foster great conversations. For those of you who have kids, I would definitely recommend you watching this film um, with your um, teenagers. Also too, even as young adults or even more mature adults, I think that there is something that everyone can pull from this film. Um, and I love those movies that just really leave you thinking about life, right? Um, but I would have to say it's the performance from Lily Reinhardt that really works for me. Um, I think that she's absolutely fantastic as Grace, who is this girl that you can tell that she's been through a lot, but she's not really ready to talk about it yet. She's not ready to really deal with the repercussions of the trauma that she has experienced in her life. And I think that Lily has really been making some great choices within her career for the roles that she takes. Um, and she also serves as executive producer for this film for Chemical Hearts. Um, but I think that she really delivers a performance that just makes me very hopeful for her career. I think she has a great blossoming career from what we've seen in Riverdale, also to what we've seen in Hustlers. And I think with this role here in Chemical Hearts, I think that she will see a lot more promising roles going forward. I'm very interested to see um, kind of the next role that she chooses, especially to a follow up because she does so fantastic in Chemical Hearts. But also too, I think that she has great chemistry um, with Austin Abrams. Um, I've really been enjoying his career as well. Even seeing him in Euphoria, you guys know how I feel about that show. But I think the chemistry that he has with Lily in this film, I think it works. Um, I like that he's this kid who's never experienced love. And so you kind of see this, um, you see this dynamic of someone who's experienced love and loss and experienced a lot for a young teenager. And that's one of the things that, um, one of the themes that we kind of go through is this transition from um, how they say in the film, the teenage limbo of where you go from being a kid to actually becoming a young adult. And I like that it's very serious in tone. I think that they don't go for the glitz and the glam or kind of the shock factor of storylines with Chemical Hearts and that it really just goes down to this basic philosophy of how do I deal as someone who has not fully you know, reached adulthood how do I deal with these very intense things, you know, as a teenager dealing with love, first love for Henry, how do you kind of deal, how do you coexist in relationships in a healthy way? And I love that the film does a very great job of exploring this. Um, also too, I love that they bring up kind of the generational differences of relationships with Harry's character, you know, his parents, you know, he's looking for this once in a lifetime love, right? Because high school sweethearts, something that he saw with his parents. Um, but I like that they kind of bring up how 
how dating has changed, how relationships have changed, how there's so many more factors that really tie into especially young love, um, but that it should still be taken seriously. And I really love the exploration of this, of showing how more and more now our young generation, they're dealing with so much, so much trauma, so much loss. Um, and so it really intensifies the emotions that they are already going through as they're trying to transition into adulthood. And so for me, like that was the main thing that just really drew me in into chemical hearts because I was just expecting this little teeny bopper love story like oh I just want to feel like a schoolgirl again and make me feel like I want a man or something but it doesn't do that it really gets into the brooding feelings that you have as a young adult and I really appreciated it um also too and this is kind of transitioned me from pros to cons but I really love the characters um played by Coral Pena and also too with Kara um, I love their relationship. Um, I think that their relationship was actually gave me that like butterflies in the stomach, just a smile on my face to watch their characters kind of interacting with one another. And also too, just to see teenagers really explore their sexuality, but also be sure of what they're doing, be sure of the feelings that they have for someone else. And even though I loved it so much, we barely get to spend enough screen time um, with their characters that, that kind of led me into a kind that I feel like we kind of lost the rest of the ensemble. I know that this is Henry and Grace's story, but if we have these other characters that play an integral part, especially within Henry's life, then I wanted to see them explore that just a little bit more and maybe add a little bit more balance. Um, Cause I think a lot of people might find this film kind of gloomy, very depressing. Um, but it was the moments when I saw, you know, their characters um, played by Coral and um, Kara that, you know, I had a smile on my face. I was just like, oh, I want that feeling again. I told them they almost made me feel like I wanted to to date again but also too going into other issues that I did have with the film um, even though I think they do a very great job of exploring um, the backstory of Grace's trauma what has kind of led her to this point that she is now as she's coming to contact with Henry is kind of forced to deal with her past I wish that they would have focused more on the healing process what that looks like to show people that you can go through these moments but there is hope there is healing that you can have there is therapy there are people you can talk to they kind of gloss over that um, in the last few minutes of the film and I wish that that's something that would have been explored a little bit more in depth also to the point where I felt as though even though this only has like an hour 30 minute runtime and I think they do a very great job with pacing but I think that it would have allowed for um, things to be wrapped up a little bit neater towards the end I felt that the um, last few minutes of the film is very rushed and I think that they um, me personally speaking I, I wish as though they would have added more time to really explore um, kind of the ending of this film but I don't want to give too much away this is going to be spoiler free but those are really my thoughts on Chemical Hearts um, I think it's a very impressive um, view into lost trauma and love and that transition into young adulthood um, I think the performances are great um, I think everyone did an absolutely fantastic job and I will tell you guys this is worth your time watching like I said it might not be for everyone if you're already probably in a down mood I probably wouldn't watch it right now but I think that it will foster a lot of thought and a lot of conversation and that's what I like about films that make me just want to dive deeper to just have self-reflection after watching it so those are my thoughts on Chemical Hearts it hits the Amazon Prime streaming um, platform this Friday as always my name is Sharana from Pair Awaits and if you like what you saw today make sure you hit the like button hit subscribe share this video with your friends and make sure you hit that notification bell and I love you guys 3000 and until I see you again bye